Hi, I'm Steve Heffernan, co-founder and head of product here at Mux, and I'm gonna walk you through your first Mux integration. So let me set the stage first. What we're looking at here is a very basic HTML page. We have our HTML tag, a title of my Mux integration, and then a simple video tag that has controls turned on, width and height, um, and then also a source. If I go over to Chrome, and load up this page in Chrome. You can see that the video plays back. It's Big Buck Bunny, everybody's favorite or least favorite. So it's a very simple example. This is what we're gonna use to show off our first integration. Uh, from here, let's go over to the Mux dashboard. On the Mux dashboard, we get our property list. And from here, we'll choose a property to integrate with. Um, and for this, I'm gonna choose our integration demo development property. So when I click that, it brings up the SDK selection window. Now, if you're using a specific video player, you'll want to scan through this list, find that player, and uh, use those docs to get set up. Uh, but for this example, all we need is the very simple HTML video SDK. So I'm gonna click on that. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab this line of JavaScript here. And what this will do is pull in the Mux JavaScript into our HTML page. Now it's best practices to put it at the end of the page before the end of the body. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna paste it right there, save the document, and then go back to our docs. Uh, this next note here is about installing with NPM. We're not building a JavaScript application here using Node, so uh, we can just blow right past that point. To this example down here, and what you'll see is something that should look kind of familiar. In our example here, we have a very basic HTML video tag. Um, one difference is that our tag does not have this ID attribute. Yet, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the ID attribute from here and add it to our video tag over here. And you'll see why that's important in a second. So I'll save that and go back to the docs. And the next step would be copying this big block of JavaScript here. And um, what's happening in this JavaScript is we're essentially telling the mux JavaScript by using this mux.monitor function. Uh, to start tracking our specific video tag here. So you can see that it says my video um, in this first argument of the mux monitor function. Um, so that points to the ID of the video tag, um, and it has the, the pound or hash symbol before that, um, which is basically CSS for pointing to that ID. Under the scenes here, we're using the document.query selector API, and so any CSS value will work here, but you wanna make sure that it's pointing to just the tag that you're interested in tracking. So I'll go ahead and copy this whole script tag and paste that into our example document here. And it needs to come after the script that we pasted in the page before so that the Mux SDK is already in the page and then we can work with it after that. Now the next thing you wanna make sure is that this property key is the actual property API key for the property you're trying to track. Now, by nature of the way that we clicked from a property to the SDK selection into the docs, um, Mux has already embedded this API key into the docs for us. But if you came to the docs directly, you might see something here that is example property key. And you want to replace that with the API key for the property you care about. So I'll jump back to the Mux docs here, or the Mux dashboard here really quick. You can see the, the property that we're looking at is this integration demo development. And the API key is right below that. And so we can just copy and paste that into the same block. Now it's the same one for here, but you'd be replacing the example property key otherwise. Uh, from here, we can then start filling in additional details about the video that's playing or the player. Um, specifically, we probably wanna add a video title. That's a good one to add. So this is Big Buck Bunny, so we'll add that in. 
I mean, you can work through these different uh, metadata details. Um, if you go to the docs and check out the options and metadata section, you'll see all the different options that you have for providing additional information to send to Mux about the video that's playing or the page or the player, uh, which will uh, give Mux a little bit more opportunity to provide uh, interesting details in the dashboard and start to correlate some of these things together. Okay, so once we have that all set up, we can save this document and then go over to our example page and reload the page. The next thing I'm going to do is actually open the Chrome DevTools. So go to More Tools here and then DevTools. What that's going to allow us to do is just verify that the integration is working and beacons are being sent to the Mux backend. So when I'm on the Network tab here, uh, I can then click Play on the video. And the video starts playing and you can start to see some details come through in the Network tab. And what's happening here is Mux is keeping track of the different events that are happening as the video plays and sending those to the Mux dashboard in order to track them and start creating interesting stats and details about the video that's playing. Uh, great, so just by the fact that these beacons are being sent, we know that our integration is working. The next thing that you can do um, in order to just kind of make this first integration process a little more interesting is start by just reloading this page. And what that does is signal to Mux that uh, the previous session of watching the video is now done. The page is reloaded and Mux can now take that whole video viewing session and wrap it up and start showing it in the dashboard. So by reloading, we allow Mux to do that. Um, we can do that a few more times, skipping around in the video to create some interesting video view um, details. Um, you can even play around. Chrome has some uh, nifty tools for throttling the video if you want to try and cause some rebuffering and see what that looks like in the dashboard. Uh, but just reloading a few times will give you a few different video views to look at and kind of see some, start to see some, some graphs show up. You'll, um, you'll start to see data in the dashboard in about a minute or two. It takes about a minute for, um, for Mux to uh, determine that the video is finished, roll up the details, and start showing in the dashboard. Uh, but once you do that, you can go back to the Mux dashboard, and you should see that your uh, property no longer has the add first integration flag at the top, which means that there's now data in your account, and you can click into the property and start seeing your data. So great, we've, uh, we've finished with the first integration. If uh, you have any problems or questions in this process, please feel free to reach out. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching.